Why do we celebrate the anniversary of an assassination? Fifteen years ago, in the middle of a plague that nearly destroyed Dunwall, a paid killer assaulted the palace where I was born and stabbed my mother in the heart. In the aftermath, the men who sent the assassin tried to use me as a pawn in a game of power. They would have succeeded, but my father, Corvo Atano, hunted them down and cut their conspiracy to pieces. All these years later, am I the ruler my mother wanted me to be? Now, we face a new crisis. A monster the papers are calling the Crown Killer has been picking off my enemies and dressing it up like my father and I are responsible. I don't know whether to get on a ship and sail to the opposite side of the world, or to have everyone around me executed. Watch your step, Majesty. I'm not looking forward to all the ceremony today. Your signet ring. There. You're ready. Thank you, Alexei. Open the doors. Who's this cutie? Hello, guys, and welcome back. Welcome to Dishonored 2. All hail Her Imperial Majesty, Emily Caldwin. Hi, Dad. Loyal subjects. We're going through a difficult time, but today we honor my mother, the late Jessamine Caldwin. May her memory survive through the ages. I've been pronouncing it wrong this Emily, whole time. I'm tired, Father. Every year, I think the anniversary of Jessamine's death will be easier, but it never is. I wish Mother was still the Empress. I don't think I'm very good at this. You're still <laughs> learning. Don't worry about the rabble rousers, and we'll catch the Crown Killer eventually. People are saying it's you, that these assassinations are a misguided effort to protect me. No, someone's trying to make us look guilty by targeting your enemies. I wish I could just run away from all this. Sometimes you do. You think I don't know about your nights out on the rooftops? Courage. The ceremony will be over soon. Royal protector and father. I should have passed a law against that combination of titles years ago. <laughs> Before we begin the day's observances, we have an unexpected visitor, the Duke of Sirkonos. Ramsey says the Duke is bringing special gifts. That's yeah. intriguing. His Grace Luca Abel, Duke of Sirkonos! You're from Sirkonos, Corvo. Mechanical soldiers? Amazing. What is this, Ramsey? I didn't authorize those things. Is it? Your Imperial Majesty and Royal Protector Corvo Atano, a native of our homeland. Sirkonus offers condolences on this sorrowful day and gifts to remind you of our nation, the rising star on the southern horizon. We thank you, Your Grace. Save your thanks, for now I give you the greatest gift of all, family. I present the lost sister of Jessamine Caldwin, your what? rightful Empress. Delilah Caldwin. Impossible. My mother had a sister? Doesn't it still go to the daughter? My dearest niece. Hello. It's not true. My father was Emperor Yuhorn Jacob Caldwin, and Jessamine was my younger sister. At the time of her death, I wasn't ready to make myself known to you, and I was forced to leave Dunwall. But now I'm home. If you really are my mother's sister, you're welcome to stay as long as you like. Little Sparrow, blackened by bad memories, I'm here to relieve you of your crown. My father's promise, whispered in secret so many years ago, is now fulfilled. Watch your tongue. Emily Caldwin is the daughter of Empress Jessamine Caldwin. Royal Protector, how naive to think you could get away with these murders. Living in my palace has protected you, but that's over. Hear me, all of you. 
Your rightful Empress has returned. All hail the Empress Delilah. First of her name. I don't understand how Arrest this obsession Emily works. Arrest Emily and her father for the crown killer murder. What? Well, glad to see you still got the outsider blessing. Looks like she does too. Ow. Oh dear. Can you do that? Now we choose. Play as Emily Caldwin, ruler of the Empire of the Isles, trained in stealth and combat by her father Corpo. Or play as Corvo Atano, legendary royal protector of the Empress and figure of infamy from the time of the Rat Plague. Mm, the choice is difficult, and I am very attached to Corvo. But I think we're gonna play as Emily. I think it would be fun to play as somebody different, and I always love a strong female character. So I think we're gonna go with Emily. Let's let her protect her dad for once. Let's play as Emily Caldwin. Cast you in cold marble. Oh dear. Oh dear. No! Sweet girl. Over time you will come to love me. I very much doubt Perhaps that. Someday you'll see me as the mother you lost. But until then, you'll be kept out of trouble. I'll lock Lady Emily in her chambers, then I'll bring her to cold <gasps> prison until oh. her trial. I'm good at nothing. My father except lost into it all trouble. when I was a boy, so now I wear this uniform and I send twenty year olds out to patrol the rose gardens instead of drinking with the men from the shooting club. Oh boo hoo. My mother murdered in front of me when I was like ten. Captain Ramsey, I heard shouting. Lady Emily, what happened? No! Are we all Captain Mayhew? She was so cute. No! Well, that's the Royal Protector's fancy weapon. What a kind of sword folds in half. My sword does. There's a legend in the Tower Guard about the Empress's last resort, a safe room inside your chambers holding enough gold to buy a good-sized island. They say that this ring is one of the only two keys to exist. Yeah, good luck finding that. What, what happened? Alexei. The throne room. Father. Man, this day really sucks. Nothing I can do alone. I need to get out of here. Okay. Should I just spin it and pick a place to hide for a while? <laughs> I need time to think. Ramsey knows what he's doing. The man's moving up in the world. He's old blood. One of the good families. And now he's helped the rightful Empress take the throne. Letter from advisor Helmswater. Empress, we face yet another murder, and I cannot remain silent on this matter. Strange is it not that all of the victims have openly opposed you? If not strange, then oh so very convenient. Is there anything you wish to tell me, Majesty? How can I be an advisor if you don't include me in the most sensitive of endeavors? I feel I must be the only person in Dunwall who doesn't know the truth about the Crown Killer. Don't leave me out in the cold. I remain your trusted servant and advisor. Leonora Helmswater. Oh, it's a woman. Delightful. Yes, I have to read all of these. Maybe there'll be something useful in them. You never know. Ship launch protocol. Empress, after the Royal Protector's shakedown cruise, we'll launch the ISS Jessamine Caldwin just before the anniversary of your mother's passing. Pending your approval, of course. On the platform, we'll have a bottle of King Street brandy tied to a long tether that you will release to swing out against the hull. What you say during the ceremony is, of course, up to you, but here are some ideas intended to serve as food for thought. May a brisk wind hurry you to shores near, far, and fair? 
May you shelter your crew from the perils of the terrible ocean. May you sail. May you always sail for Crystal, true of heart and homeward bound. Yours faithfully, Advisor Wainwright. Set alarm. A window. How many times have I looked at that skyline? It feels like everything just changed. Uh, it do be like that sometimes. Hmm. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem like there's really anything I can do from here. I think what I want, I have an idea, but I just want to check one thing. All right, let's go ahead and do a peek. These bastards are working with Ramsey and the Duke of Circonos. There's a lot of people here. <laughs> and by a lot, I mean two. Still, two would be difficult to overpower without a weapon. But I have a thought. I used to hide frogs in this old grandfather clock to drive the housekeepers mad. I thought life was complicated back then. Can I get under this? I can. Hopefully one of them will come to investigate this. No? They don't seem the least bit interested. Damn, okay. I can't punch. I feel very silly. I just keep doing it. I am supposed to go out the window. He did seem to hear it, but they don't seem the least bit interested in, um... The Hound Pits Pub. I can't believe it, but I actually miss <laughs> those times. Well, you were a child. We always miss our childhoods. something here? I feel like I should be able to hang from that. If I just throw myself from the roof. Oops. There. I was trying to get around, but... A long day in Dunwall. Indeed. are working with Ramsey and the Duke of Circonos. One of the good families. And now that he's helped the rightful Empress take the throne, the Ramseys are going to be back in fashion in Dunwall. You'd be smart to remember that. It's going to be awesome. Radiator. I'm 
feeling very stupid. Oh. The window was a clue. How about that boat? How many times have I looked at that skyline? It feels like everything just changed. Delilah is some sort of witch. How is this possible? Did Dad never tell you about his pact with the outsider? Lady Emily, <gasps> you're all right. I was worried. Alexi, you're still alive? Where's the royal protector? Uh... There's a coup underway. My father is. He's imprisoned, for lack of a better word. You've got to get out of the tower, through your safe room. There was a captain earlier today, down at the docks, looking for the royal protector. Find her. Get out of Dunwall. Oh. Alexi, I'm sorry. Goodbye. A new captain who goes by the name of Megan Foster arrives in Dunwall. She is looking for Corvo. Maybe she can help you. New Year. We're starting a new year. Maybe 1852 will be less boring than 1851. I can't wait for Wyman to get back to Dunwall. We'll go to the abandoned mansion I discovered the other night at the edge of the Red Shore. Maybe I'll have time to turn it into a scary haunted house beforehand using sheets and hiding an old audiograph upstairs. Wyman would love that. We'll get spooked and hold hands, screaming and laughing. Come on, Emily. You promised to be more serious and to listen at court. And you're already planning your next escape. Let's start this diary again. Proposals for a new decree on whale oil rationing and distribution. The anniversary. That time of year again. The anniversary of my mother's death. There's no real time for reflection, though. It's all security protocols, menus, guests lists. And it's impossible to slip out at night. I feel like a caged bird. They've already got me memorizing this year's speech. It's endless. Would it be so terrible if I just said what I remember about her? That wink she gave me, even as she was scolding me after I was caught climbing the statue of my grandfather. The sound of her footsteps as she paced at night. The time we shared in a cabin on a boat trip to Driscoll. Or the time she agreed to let Corvo teach me to fish, but then had to pull a hook from my arm. Now that would be a speech. Aww. Yes, I, I saw. Okay, there we go. Why do I need to go to the throne room? I need ah. my signet ring. Right. There's a secret passage in the royal chambers, but you need your ring to open it. So I have to go. Ooh. So there is, I believe, a chaos mechanic in this game. So we should try to avoid killing people, probably. Breakable door. It's good to know. Um, but I am feeling rather murdery. Bath salts. <laughs> Not that kind of bath salts. No time for that now. Always time. Emily, I know times are hard. You're the ruler of four nations. And I won't pretend to understand the pressure you're under. Only you and your mother before you could know what that's like killing off your enemies is doing so for calculated effect undermining us and I do know what it's like to be blamed for murders you didn't commit but trust me we'll find this crown killer and they'll pay tomorrow is the anniversary of her death a sad day for sure 
on to the throne. And you've done what you thought was right for the people of the Empire. You drained the flooded district, kept the gangs in check, and yesterday we launched a magnificent ship bearing Jessamine's name. You're becoming the sovereign your mother wanted you to be, and I'm proud of you. Oh, that was sweet. What an owl. Did Sokolov paint that? Yeah, he was more into portraits, wasn't he? Okay, there's one. Assassinations and takedowns. Assassinator perform non-lethal. I want to know where the other guy is. We're not doing um, the shadow, the ghost achievement. Although I think it probably is in this game. This is my first time playing Dishonored 2, so I'm not going to give myself an uh, extra. We're also not going to worry about not killing people. We will kill people, probably. Not too many. We'll try and keep low chaos. But, uh... I don't know, I get the feeling Emily's a bit more aggressive than her dad. In a weird way. Where is the son of a bitch? Oh, there he is. He's just standing there. There he goes. bodies. Okay. We can do that. Uh, let me go over there. Is this a door? Is this is a door. I missed a door. A linen closet. Got anything? Bathing salts. <laughs> Historical record of government positions and ranks. Addendum. I think we read this book in the first game. Corvo Atano. Accused of assassinating the Empress, he was sworn to protect. How unlikely he would... Mm, how unlikely he would not only overcome this shame, but then redeem himself so fully as to be named royal protector to yet another Empress. Those of us at the College of Histories were too fast to use the pen against him. Yet, let us not blame historians, for the evidence against Atano was nearly overwhelming. First, he's the only royal protector ever to have been born on an isle other than Gristal. Oh my god. His foreignness is not itself a crime, mm -hmm. but added to the suspense, the most forgiving of which was that he lacked the capacity to fully understand his duties. Oh my god. Second, he was caught quite red-handed with bloodied weapon kneeling over the body of Empress Jessamine. Of course, it turns out that even this damning evidence was part of a clever plot to destroy the Empress and remove Atano from interfering with the ongoing plans of the Lord Regent's conspirators. And while I admit to publishing what we are now clearly incorrect to what are now clearly incorrect conclusions regarding Corvo Atano, I will not, as some of my colleagues have done, resign my position at our veritable organization. But instead, I reassert myself in the endeavor of weeding out fact from fiction to produce the most salient histories possible. Oh my goodness, the racism. <laughs> I knew he's from Sirkonos, and this is not going to help that. The fact that now we've got a, a Sirkonian usurper. There were two guards. Where did the other one go? That's a cool painting. Also, look at these flowers. I think they're hydrangeas. It's pretty cool. That's cool too. Emily, you got good art.
What if we transfer you from this life to the next? How does that sound? Look at this. Cute little reading nook under the stairs. Crown killer strikes again. Dunwall citizens express shock and fear as yet another outspoken critic of Empress Emily Caldwin has met with a violent demise. The latest victim is none other than Ichabod Boyle, Ooh. notable entrepreneur and supporter of the arts. Boyle recently wrote an opinion piece harshly criticizing the Empress for what he called her slipshod style of governance, with her willful neglect of duties. Authorities are convinced the crown killer is the culprit, given the gruesome details left at the crime scene. As Her Majesty's most outspoken adversaries fall one by one to this notorious assassin, we boldly ask, is it now the duty of the royal protector to murder all who dare criticize the throne? Yes. No, I'm just kidding. It is not the duty of the royal protector to murder. A light pouch. So many cabinets. So many things to open. Uh. Oh, isn't it laundry day yet? Oh, it's gotta be soon. I can't stand my own stench. Mm, me neither. Traitors. Should I murder people? No, probably not. Am I doing it? Yes. I think Emily is very mad. This reminds me of good times with friends. With Wyman. All gone now. Ooh, look at all of that silverware. So many little nooks. room blocked off we should have the time we need just stay here and stall anyone who comes by I'll be back when I've searched the royal chambers assuming I don't accidentally lock myself in this damn safe room we'll cover for you if anyone from the Duke's party returns huh. this is exciting mm, everything's changing maybe too exciting eliminate Mortimer Ramsey Mortimer Ramsey could be locked inside the safe room which contains rations and water I mean, isn't that him right in front of me? Oh, we got our key. Nice. Yes. The natural order is reasserting itself. The Ramses once hosted the king and queen of Morley. Did you know that? I spent my childhood playing with the buntings and the boils cream of society then very soon you'll be back at the top oh, captain ramsey's family fell from the aristocracy and apparently the man holds a grudge how it's my fault that's beyond me but one way or another ramsey is too dangerous to be left in play huh <laughs> Oh shit. Something <laughs> it <wrong>. should. <laughs> oh. One of us is down. We found the dead body. I guess I probably should have hidden it. One night at the boarding house. One night. Now I'm covered in shame. So he says, keep alert. And I says, I am alert. I've been alert. And then he says, oh yeah, but this time. I really mean it. Nothing. That was nothing. Don't worry about it. Coming. Uh oh. 
Uh oh. That's Emily Caldwell. That Sorry, I didn't let you finish here. This won't leave my hand again. Yeah, no, we killed him. <laughs> uh, let's see. Mission items, we got the signet ring. Nice, nice, nice. I don't think there will be anything really here, but it doesn't hurt to look around. I really wish I had arc vision. What about that other guy I killed? Do you have anything on you? No. Okay. Back we go. The way should be safe now. Anton Sokolov made this <laughs> lock. I spent so many nights in here after the rat plague. Let's make sure nobody follows me. Though, of course, if Delilah really did live here, as she said then she'll know, but... I love that there's just a random dress form in here. Let's see, what do we got? Whispers from the Void. Mm. By Barnoli Mulani. One. Treaties on the physical existence of that foreign realm. Excerpt. It is a common story. A person has stopped breathing. Pinned under carriage wheels or something other tragic happenstance, and is thought to be dead. But when the weight is removed, they make a quick recovery. But nonetheless, for a moment or two, this person was lost to us. Lost to the world itself. And what did they experience while in this temporary death? Darkness? Nothingness? No. Indeed not. They tell us, as so many before have, that they were in a particular place, and can describe it vividly. And who among us does not know this place? Have we not all seen it in our dreams? This place we share, in the farthest reaches of our minds, the realm where nothing makes sense, where one is at once both lost and home, the void. Mm. How philosophical. Whispers from the Void by, by Barnoli Mulani too. These little glimpses of the void, in dreams or described by those awaken, awoken from comas, are not limited to select few. In my interviews, I've gleaned that there is not a single citizen without such visions at one time or another. This, then, must be a real place. Not folklore or mass delusion. Perhaps it exists deep below the earth, or far above it. Perhaps it is right next to us, but hidden. Some trick of the light or wondrous curtain bars us from fully knowing it. And we all but wait for a natural philosopher to unlock the phenomenon, to show us how to see it at will. But when so revealed, it will not be a fearsome place any longer. Not the distant and special realm described in the myth of the outsider. It will be strange, yes, even unsettling. But nonetheless, it will be a new realm for us to explore and eventually conquer. What new treasures await us there? Are the lakes made of liquid diamond? The clouds of weightless silver glass? Silver gas? <laughs> And what things would we learn? Who can say? Pistol bullets. Letter from Wyman. 
Emily, I didn't want to wake you this morning, but you'll forgive me since we must have said goodbye a hundred times yesterday night, and the only chance I get to see you with your hair up, with your hair all whichever way is, while you're asleep. And the only chance I get to see you with your hair all whichever way is when you're asleep. As soon as the sun rises, you'll put on your empress face. It makes me happy that I know your real face, the one that laughs at our silly rhymes. I don't want to go back to Morley, but I'm needed there. It'll be four months before we see each other again. I'll miss you. And yes, I'll bring you some white leaf tobacco for your hookah. Lord Corvo, if you're reading this letter as per your royal protector functions, know that I am only know that I am joking and perfectly aware that the white leaf tobacco is forbidden in Crystal. Take care, my darling Emily. Don't go falling from a rooftop. I love you, Wyman. Do we have a boyfriend? That's cute. Aww. Look at a little drawing. Corvo Otano, the royal protector in our times, part one. His parents were older at the time of his birth, and his father died in a lumber accident outside the city when Corvo was still young. Around that time, his only sibling, a first-born sister, moved away to Morley, and the family subsequently lost all contact with her. Only sixteen, Corvo, dazzled by the people of Karnaka, when he entered and won the annual Blade Verbena, the spectators from all over Sirkonos were thrilled to see someone so young and striking from a working-class family advance through duel after duel, eventually taking the prize. This unexpected outcome secured Corvo a junior officer ranking in the Grand Sirkonan Guard. As a soldier, he was involved in a number of conflicts against organized criminal groups, rogue city-states within Sirkonos, and pirate bands, along with the chain of islands radiating east from Sirkonos. Sent from his homeland at the age of 18 by the Duke of Sirkonos, then Theodanus Abel, father of Luca Abel, Corvo was assigned to serve the Emperor in Dunwall as a diplomatic gift. His Sirkonan heritage made him a bit of an outsider in Dunwall, but the capital city must have seemed exotic and full of old-world old mystery. A few months after he moved to Dunwall, it is recorded that Corvo received word that his mother had passed away several weeks after his departure from Karnaka. Huh. So we're in Gristol. There's Dunwall. There's Sirkonos to the south. There's Karnaka, it looks like. Morlu to the north, and Tivia. I wonder where Pandicia is. S and J elixir. Sokolov and Joplin. Nice. This could be handy. Crown Killer strikes again. We read that. The Crown Killer must be connected to all this. Probably. With the Duke and Delilah. Pistol bullets. I have a feeling I'll need these. Ooh, let's go. There's a... A helmet here. I wonder if Corvo's mask goes there, maybe, if you play as him. Bone Charms. Excerpt from a book on sailing traditions and scrimshaws. Bone Charms. A sailor's blessing, they say. The carving itself is a practice from long back. Passed from salty, dis passed from salty dogs to young greenhorns, still finding their sea legs. In old times, sailors cut into the tusks of ice seals and into the arm-long fangs of the bears that roam the isles north of Tivia. Once the whaling trade began, the practitioners began engraving the, the bones of those great beasts, rendering charms that sing in the night and grant some small boon, increasing a lover's vigor or providing defense against pregnancy. We read this. This is from the other game. <laughs> I remember distinctly being defended against pregnancy. All right, nothing else here. Corvo Atano, part two. In an act of rebellion, young Jessamine Caldwin chose Corvo as her royal protector when Corvo was 19 and she was 12. He served her loyally as a bodyguard, courier, and, some say, spy, before and after she was crowned empress. Though it was a scandalous gossip at the time, it is said they began a love affair around 1823, when Jessamine was 18 and Corvo 25. So, he's seven years older than her. If he was 25 then, and it's been 
I'm trying to think of how old Corvo is. If Emily's probably 25 now, Corvo's probably in his 50s. It's pretty old. The next chapter of Atana life is like something out of a legend. During the time of the Rat Plague, when the Empress fell, Corvo was accused of regicide and sentenced for execution. He was thrown into Coldridge Prison and publicly revealed. He escaped, and as part of a small conspiracy dedicated to throwing down the tyrannical Lord Regent, Corvo struck back at the people who killed the Empress and who wronged him. As the Lord Regent fell, the Loyalist conspiracy turned on Corvo, poisoning him. Surviving through some inner resilience, and the help of Samuel the Boatman, he located the true assassin of the Empress and fought his way out of the flooded district. Corvo eventually cornered the last of the Loyalists on King Sparrow Island at the Burroughs Lighthouse, and rescued Emily Caldwin, heir to the throne. The romantic involvement between Corvo Atano and the Empress Jessamine Caldwin was a terribly kept court secret, and thus it is widely held that Emily Caldwin is their daughter. Following the inter interregnum, Corvo watched over Emily as she began to rule the Empire of the Isles. I've just remembered that I think I'm pronouncing Jessamine's name wrong. I keep saying Jessamine, but I think it's Jessamine. They said it in the voiceover, and I've already forgotten. Ooh, a safe. Two safes. Are those supposed to be the Pendletons? That's so cute. Ooh. The reserves won't help against Delilah. Even if I had a way to carry it all out of here. Well, I can take... I can take one. I better take these. These aren't very good saves. They're not, um... They don't have a combination or anything. Oh, there's a statue. Alright, I think that's everything that we can get from here. Let's get out of here. Go to Dunwall Streets. Oh, it has changed. Delilah and Duke Luca Abel have taken over the tower. Dunwall is no longer a safe place for you. Escape the city by meeting with a boat captain down at the docks. It's a good thing Alexi lived long enough to tell me about that. <laughs> Until I understand this, I have to go into hiding. I should make my way to the docks. Balcony door, okay. I don't have... Pistol ammunition. Loud. I don't have, um... A crossbow yet. Unfortunately. Oh look, it's the, the piece of the Pendletons. Sokolov painted this one. Custis, Morgan, and the Postulate Child. I wonder if, um... Oh, no, that's right. I was gonna say I wonder if Trevor ever got his portrait painted again, but then I just remembered he's dead. Not because Corvo killed him, but because, um, Havelock killed him, actually. Okay. A little bit of money. Toilet. Let's take a peek before we go through. Seems safe enough. Oh, there's that seagull sound. I've got to get out of Dunwall. Escape Dunwall Tower. I've got to get away. I should talk to the captain of that ship. That one? I noticed that one. You can fall from a moderate height without taking damage. Yeah, that's all well and good. I know what you want, game. Don't worry. I'm going. I just want to look around. I don't know why, but I really love that seagull sound effect. <laughs> it's just a seagull, but it's very good. Somehow Delilah turned my father to stone. I will find a way to undo it. 
Uh, you'll meet the outsider, I'm quite certain. Seems like your life just got very interesting. And if there's one thing the outsider likes, it's interesting. Alrighty. This is very blue. Is it whale oil? Let's see, what do we got? Drop takedown. <laughs> oh, I can do a non-lethal drop takedown? I'm kind of very curious to know what the non-lethal drop takedown looks like. Ooh, that's non-lethal? You're not fit for the watch uniform. Damn, that looked like it hurt. Also, Emily, to be fair, not everyone can have the Corvo Atano, A, as their father, and B, train them. The city is crawling with the Duke's men. Hmm. Listen up, I have bad news. Ramsey's dead. Corporal Moore checked the royal quarters, and Emily Coldwin has apparently fled the scene. We've got to find her. That's it. We've got your orders. That's Spread on fire. Find the fugitive. We're in this with the Duke of Circano sink or swim. There's no way to turn <laughs> back now. All right, I see four men. I wish I had blink. I'm going to be very sad about my lack of outsider abilities, aren't I? I don't really see much of a need to kill all of these men, if I can avoid it. Um, quite frankly, I don't really see much of a point in interacting with them at all, if I can help it. Oops. Um. I want to hop down and follow this side way, but I'm worried he'll see me. Oh my goodness. What is happening? Okay. Yes, 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 I know. <sighs> if only I had Blink. He's gonna totally see me, isn't he? Here we go. That's better. Where'd you go? Oh, you already turned around. Perfect. I'll just take that. Oh. Attention, Dunwall citizens. Attention, Dunwall citizens. <laughs> As of today, Delilah Caldwin is our new empress. All hail Delilah. First of her name. Further. The former Empress, Emily Caldwin, is now wanted for treason. Any of you found harboring Emily Caldwin will be fined and arrested. People of Dunwall, this is stay bad. In your this is... You're advised to stay indoors during this time of unrest. There we go. Spittle? There was a guy. He says keep alert, and I says I am alert. I've been alert. And he says yeah, but this time I really mean it. <laughs> Ooh, lag. Hmm. Nothing to see here. Don't you worry about it. I can't tell where the people are because I don't have dark vision. Can you tell I'm going a little insane? Um. There is a civilian. Madame, I am not here. How hard could it be to uh. clean a few things? 
honestly, why do I pay for a house full of servants when they don't do anything? No. Someone there. Mm. No one's here. No one's here. I thought I, I saw someone there. right here. Let's here? check the place just in case. Ah, merd. No, no. What's happening now? I'll tell you to piece it. Oh, oh, So much for low chaos. everybody well so much for low chaos I was doing so good <sighs> maybe if I had just hopped past that woman road is blocked by order of the city watch Locked. What am I supposed to do now? Not my concern, citizen. I'd advise you to return to your home. If I can't get through, that's it for my shop. The entire month will be ruined. Trust me, you don't want to be out on the streets right now. Move along. There's a dangerous killer out there. People of Dunwall, aiding a fugitive is now punishable by death. Aid the city watch in this time of transition. We'll knock him out. I just killed like 17 people. Don't bonk your head when you wake up. So much screaming. It's very unsettling. Let's just see. We got a rat skewer over here? No. Of course not. There's no more rats. Oh, I think. Can I get up there? Maybe. Yeah. Is there anything? There's money. I could have picked up that looks like whale oil over there. Is that a book? I'll leave it. For the sake of stealth. Since we're so close. <laughs> Can I just like jump into the water and swim? Hell yeah. That water was not deep enough. Hello? Can I please board your ship? Lady Emily, you won't get far with that face. Stamped on half the yeah. coins in the city. There's a coup underway and I'm being blamed for the Crown Killer murders. I don't care what my face looks like. My name's Megan Foster. I work with an old ally of yours, Anton Sokolov. We learned something scary down in the south. Oh, thank I you. I came to warn you. I know, Anton. The Corvo's gone. The Duke of Sirkonos is here with a woman named Delilah. They massacred everyone in the throne room. Then she did something I can't explain. There was nothing to do but run. Sometimes that's all you can do. This is my ship. I love the it. The dreadful whale. We can I'm head so out as ready. soon as you're ready. I need to get to Karnaka where the crown killer murders started. 
Delilah must have been down there for a while, and I've got to figure out what's going on. You're Corvo's daughter. <laughs> I'll give you that. Yeah, should we let's. go? Yeah, there's probably other things I could get, but what's the use? We'll be back. It'll be different, but we'll be back. I want to meet the outsider. I want to get my powers back. Yes, I'm ready. I like the silhouette. <laughs> Overall chaos, hi. Oops. <laughs> oh well. Uh, civilians killed none. Hostiles killed 11. Merciful, no. Stealth, alarms rung, no. Bodies detected. Ghostly, never detected, no. Uh, so not merciful, not ghostly. Uh, this is cool. Stealth, non-lethal, lethal, assault. We're trending towards lethal and assault, but I want to get us up to stealth and lethal. I mean, I don't really care lethal or non-lethal for this one. We should try and keep our chaos low, probably, but... Found... A small fraction of the coins and only one painting. That's fine. Took what gold you could carry from Dunwall Tower. Special action. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nice. A strange visit. Something feels off. Find out what's going on. Am I still aboard Megan's ship? It feels mm. odd. This has the smell of an outsider visit to it, but it is going to have to wait for the next episode. We successfully escaped Dunwall Tower, got aboard Megan's ship, and we're heading to Karnaka to investigate the Kron Killer murders and Delilah. So I'd say that's a pretty good start for us. Next time, hopefully, we will meet the outsider and get our powers back, or at least some of them, and we'll begin this new adventure. I hope you enjoyed. Um, let me know what you think about the whole lethal versus non-lethal thing. Would you like me to try and get that chaos down and try and trend more non-lethal if possible? Or should I just keep... We've already killed so many. Should I just keep going at this point? <laughs> um, let me know if you have any thoughts. And yeah. Tune in next time. Hopefully... We'll visit the void. And until then, bye bye!